Welcome back, Times and Newcomers alike, to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. Last episode, we tore apart Miss Hawthorne's testimony, and now we're about to tear into it more. You didn't know where to get a poison like that? I doubt it, because your boyfriend was in pharmacology. Objection! You wouldn't know how to get that kind of poison? I don't believe you. What? In fact, you had easy access to that kind of poison, didn't you? At your boyfriend's lab. Boyfriend? You mean the victim, Doug Swallow? That's right. Up until eight months ago, Miss Hawthorne was dating Mr. Swallow. And if you'll recall, Mr. Swallow was a pharmacology student at Ivy University. F -f -f pharmacology His laboratory contained highly advanced chemistry equipment. In fact, without such equipment, the culprit could never have obtained such a rare and special poison. Well, Miss Hawthorne, it seems you had access to such a poison after all. And then it was a matter of slipping it into the victim's coffee when he wasn't looking. The only person who could have done that was the one sitting at his very table. You! No! Order, order, order! Could it be? Objection! That's nothing but a lie! May I say something, Madam Bay? What is it, Miss Hawthorne? The amount of poison in the coffee was two teaspoons, correct? In order to carry that much liquid, you would need some kind of container. Wow, yes, that's true. That was searched immediately after the incident took place. Quite true. In fact, the entire courthouse was turned upside down. But they didn't find a suspicious container anywhere, did they? She's right. They even mentioned that in the report. Well, you could have easily gotten rid of something that small. Excuse me, madam, but this is a court of law. If you're saying I threw the poison container away, I think you need to show some kind of proof. Proof? She got me good with that. Provide some evidence or I'll have to disallow this line of questioning, Miss Fay. Unless we come up with some evidence, we're going to lose this lead. The police conducted a full body search of Dahlia and of the entire courthouse. And yet the container holding the poison disappeared right after the crime occurred. If you're going to accuse a young lady of committing the murder, then where's the container the poison was carried in? What happened to it? It's right here in Dahlia's present. You were forced to get rid of the container in a hurry, weren't you? And that's why you passed it on to someone that had nothing to do with the case. Someone that you knew wouldn't be searched. Who is this person? Mr. Phoenix Wright, of course. OBJECTION! So the defendant with the witness's accomplice? Of course not. She gave the poison to him disguised as a present. What? The best? Hmm, now uh, that's a charming little necklace. Is this a little bottle? It's really quite cute. Ah, oh, the beard enjoys jewelry. So, what about it? What does it mean, Miss Bay? The day that the witness met and fell for Mr. Phoenix Wright was eight months ago. August 27th, the very same day as the poisoning incident. Under the pretense of love, the witness gave my client a present. All for the purpose of hiding the one piece of evidence that would give her away. What? Are you saying there's a deadly poison in here? No, there's no longer any poison in that bottle. However, I'm certain if the crime lab were to analyze it, they would find a trace amount. Order! Order in the court! Ah, um... On behalf of Dolly, I object! Well, Mr. Wright, control yourself! I won't let you bully her like this! Mr. Wright, I thought I told you to stay in your seat! Mr. Wright, why? Why are you going through so much trouble to protect her? Why? B because... Because I'm madly 
in love with her. Hmm. Madly in love? I haven't heard anyone say that in a long time. Mr. Wright, have you ever thought about this? Why exactly would a woman like Dahlia Hawthorne want to date you anyway? Well, uh, I guess she must be madly in love with me too. Mr. Wright, please, open your eyes. At this point in the trial, I think it should be obvious to everyone. The real reason that Dahlia Hawthorne is dating you is... Ha! <laughs> I'm actually tempted to pick the first one because I am curious as to what she says. So, you can skip ahead if you don't want to see this, but I'm curious. Naturally, it's because she's fallen madly in love with you, too. See? Just like I told you. But Mia, are you thinking clearly? That flies in the face of everything we've learned up to this point. I I'm sorry. I don't know why I even said that. <laughs> because I'm an idiot, that's why. I guess it's because I just like the sound of the phrase, madly in love. Because I'm an idiot. Now. No! You're <laughs> a freak. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna skip ahead. The reason that Dahlia is really dating you is not because she's madly in love with you, not to keep you quiet, but because of that necklace. Dahlia Hawthorne was not and is not madly in love with you. The only thing she's after is that bottle necklace you love to wear around your neck. My necklace? Back there in the waiting room, you said it yourself. Yeah, but she's so shy. Every time I see her, she always says the same thing to me. Please give it back now. What a strange girl, asking for a present back like that. For Dahlia Hawthorne, that necklace is irrefutable evidence of her crime. That's why she absolutely had to get it back. You're lying! But you never gave it back to her. And to make things worse for her, you insisted on showing it to everyone you met. That's why she... I don't... I don't believe you. No! That's a lie! Uh! Mamiya, are you alright? Ah, the defendant! He's getting away! Bailiff, after him! Mia! Mia! Are you alright? Yes. I think so. That boy! He went completely insane! Where... Where's Mr. Wright? Looks like the bailiff caught him. So he should be brought back here soon. Thank goodness. Oh no! What is it? The bottle necklace! Miss Hawthorne's present! It's gone! What? That's terrible! Mr. Wright must have grabbed it when he slammed into me. Foolish boy! That's the only thing that could have saved him! What in the blazes are we supposed to do now? Mr. Wright, that sort of behavior is unprecedented in the history of this court. I'm sorry. I'm afraid that your apology is not enough! Mr. Wright, what did you do with the bottle necklace? F forgive me. I, uh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Just give back the necklace. I ate it. You what? You, you, you ate it? It was too big to swallow, so I had to chew it into little bits first, but yeah. Uh. <laughs> what the? What? What is he doing now? Y Your Honor, you've got to stop the trial. Mr. Wright, Mr. Wright, are you feeling okay? Does your stomach hurt? That bottle you swallowed may have had some poison left in it. OBJECTION! <laughs> it seems 
the defendant has proven the prosecution's case for us. Clearly that bottle did not contain a deadly poison. H how can you be so sure? <laughs> I think that's obvious. As you can see, the defendant is still very much alive. As for the poison, more like a fledgling defense attorney's overactive imagination. Hmm. Now show it what she... Objection! No. There must be some mistake. The bottle must not have had any poison left in it. Either that or the poison must have lost its potency. There, there. It's alright, Rookie. Trusting your client is the most noble thing a defense attorney can do, and it's heartwarming to see that you place this much faith in Mr. Wright. Yeah. But that's how it is for us on the prosecutor's side, too. For example, I would trust the witness, Miss Hawthorne, with my very life. Which is why I can't state that your assessment of her is completely wrong. That's enough. Unfortunately, Miss Faye, I cannot accept your explanation of the events. But, but why? This may be impossible for a beginner like you to understand, but in a court of law, evidence is everything. Mm -hmm. Even though I've proven so much, is she going to get away with everything? Well, now that the suspicion surrounding Miss Hawthorne has been cleared up, I would like to proceed with a tr Oh, dad, it back the beard! Or hold it, the beard. Mr. Wright. I'm sorry, Miss Faye. It totally slipped my mind. I'm really, really sorry. I know you believed in me, and I feel like I really let you down. Mr. Wright, what are you trying to say? Uh, uh, there's something I forgot to tell you. What is it? That day, that day I met Doug Swallow. That girl. You shouldn't see her anymore. Hey, it's none of your business! I'm telling you for your sake. If you continue to see her, it's going to be bad news. You're lying! Just listen to me. There's something you need to know about that girl. Last night, someone stole some poison from our lab. Poison? The same thing happened eight months ago. A drug sample was stolen. She came to the lab that time, too. It could have only been her. That girl's a thief. Stop it! Don't talk about her like that! Is it true? Did he really say that? Th that's ridiculous! There's one more thing. After I pushed him that day, I got worried and came back to have a look. And she was there! Dolly was right there! She was crouched down next to him. What? She told me not to ever tell anyone about it, but... I'm sorry, Dolly. Objection! This is order. This is the defendant is. Miss Faye, you tell them. Dolly didn't do it. She's innocent. So Dolly has stole poison eight months ago too, huh? If you put that together with Mr. Wright's testimony, then there's only one possible conclusion. The defense believes that Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Stole some poison on the night before she killed Doug Swallow. The night before? Naturally, her motive for stealing it was to kill someone. Miss Faye? If you're so certain of your theory, then let me ask you this. Mia, this is your last chance. Think carefully now. There's something that she desperately wanted to get back. Therefore... Exactly who was Miss Dahlia Hawthorne planning to kill? She was planning to kill, save state so I don't have to do that earlier thing again, Mr. Phoenix Wright. 
there was one person that was standing squarely in Miss Dahlia Hawthorne's way. And that person was... Mr. Phoenix Wright! Me, 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 me! Objection! That's preposterous! After all, it was Duck Swallow that was murdered! Well, it's true that's how things worked out. But let's remember that Mr. Swallow died of electrocution, not poison. The person that Miss Hawthorne was planning to poison was, in fact, you, Phoenix Wright. There's no one else that it could be. But how can that be? I thought Mr. Wright and Miss Hawthorne were in love. Poor Mr. Wright. This must be killing him. Hang in there. I'll bring her to justice. I swear it. As I said before, the only thing Miss Hawthorne truly cared about was... The one piece of evidence linking her to that incident eight months ago. That's right. The bottle necklace. That's all she cared about. But even so, why? Why would she go so far as to murder him? Eight months ago, just after the fall of that attorney in the basement cafeteria. Dahlia Hawthorne could think of only one thing. How to get rid of the bottle necklace as quickly as possible. No, it can't be! It was a pretty good move she made, too. The evidence was missing for a long time. But there was just one big problem. Although she got him to hide the evidence, Mr. Wright refused to return it to her. To him, the tiny little bottle was a cherished treasure. He even showed it to everyone he met! You mean, that's why she tried to kill Mr. Wright? Correct, Your Honor. It was to retrieve that piece of evidence. That can't be true! Feeny, what a joke you are. Honestly, how can any woman ever count on you for anything? I even told you time and time and again to keep your trap shut about me and that necklace. You disgust me. Miss Hawthorne? It appears that this trial will be coming to an end soon. Fine. I can tell you plan on making me into a criminal no matter what I say. You are a criminal, Miss Hawthorne. We'll see about that. But first, where's your evidence? It seems your sniveling little crybaby of a client has eaten the bottle as a snack. Er, uh, well, um... Hey, old man, are you senile or something? Why don't you say something instead of sitting there with that dumb look on your face? Miss Hawthorne! What's happened to you? And the bear is not stupid. He will destroy you even if you are cute and cuddly and I want to get into your pants. Huh. Are you really that shocked? Or do you prefer me this way, Mr. Judge? <laughs> beard needs a new pair of underwear. With absolutely no proof, you treat a voluntary witness like she's a mass murderer. Well, I have nothing more to say. I'll be heading home now, if you don't mind. But, but but you're not finished! Fine! Then ask this nasty old hag to finish up already. I can't let her get away this time. Stop, Mia! If you keep on pushing without any evidence, my mustache will not forgive you. The ultimate price? You'll be forced to take off your attorney's badge forever, I'm afraid. N no You'd better think it over carefully, Miss Fay. Or should I say, Miss Gray. Well, Miss Fay, can you provide evidence that would establish her guilt once and for all? If 
if I mess up here. My career as a lawyer is over. But to be honest, at this point I don't have any evidence that's well founded. Even so, I'd rather lose my attorney's badge than let her get away with murder. Your Honor, the defense would like to present proof. Impossible! Impossibly! Stupid woman. It is the opinion of the court that there has already been enough discussion. Therefore, I will allow only one piece of evidence to be presented. J just one? If you are unable to establish her guilt, then I'm afraid that a very harsh verdict will immediately be handed down on Mr. Wright. I understand, Your Honor. I can just imagine the headlines for tomorrow's newspaper. Up-and-coming lawyer plummets to Earth before she gets the chance to soar. She was planning to poison Mr. Wright. If that's the case, then the poison was probably in there. Well then, Miss Faye, please present your evidence. Show to the court irrefutable proof that Miss Hawthorne was planning to poison Mr. Wright. That proof would be... The... Crap, I actually don't know. Oh! The bottle of Cold Killer X! Here it is, Your Honor. The evidence that will prove her guilt once and for all. Cold Killer X? Phoenix Wright's beloved cold medicine. <laughs> Does our rookie defense attorney have a bit of a cold? <laughs> if I did, I still wouldn't take this cold medicine. After all, it's been poisoned. What? Remember what the defendant said in his testimony. But I lost my bottle of it around lunchtime on the day of the accident. I always eat with Dolly, just the two of us. She was the one who took his bottle of Cold Killer X. Then she poisoned it, knowing that Mr. Wright was going to take some. Objection! Now you're really grasping at straws! After all, it was the victim Doug Swallow who was holding the medicine! I would like the court to recall the crime that happened here eight months ago. Where did Miss Hawthorne hide the evidence? Huh? What are you talking about? Eight months ago, the poison was hidden in her bottle necklace. Which she then gave to someone else for safekeeping. Someone she had accidentally run into in the reading room. My client, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yes, that's right. She did the same thing this time as well. After shoving the victim, Mr. Phoenix Wright left the scene of the crime. That is when the murderer, Dahlia Hawthorne, appeared. With her, she was carrying the poison bottle of Cold Killer X. This, of course, was so she could carry out her plan to murder Mr. Wright. Hmm, I believe she did testify that she was going to meet with the defendant. Yes, and she heard and saw everything that happened at the scene of the crime including what the defendant and victim were arguing about, and the cut electrical cable. That's when she realized, I can't allow Doug Swallow to live. She used the severed electrical cable to silence him forever. Unfortunately for her, this is when the problem occurred. Mr. Wright, who she thought had left the scene, came back to check on the victim. And on top of that, because of the power outage, some students showed up as well. It's hardly any wonder that she was, as she put it, in a state of panic. Recall that she was carrying that bottle of poison cold medicine. She must have thought, what if they search me like they did eight months ago? Eight months ago? Yes. She disposed of the evidence exactly the same way as she did back then. She had someone else hold it. In this case, Doug Swallow. A 
Oh, come on now, everyone. Surely you aren't fooled, are you? This stupid woman. She's nothing but a filthy, stinking liar. Right, Mr. Prosecutor? Uh, huh? Yes, that's exactly right. It's just pure desperation. Objection! Hmm. I wonder which one of us is the desperate one. So, Miss Hawthorne, this cold medicine. I wonder if you wouldn't mind taking some. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright ate that necklace of yours, right? Now it's your turn to prove your innocence. What do you say? <laughs> if I'm just a filthy, stinking liar, then there's no need to worry. So come on, show us! I dare you to take some of this medicine right now! Uh, me a me a Do you think you've won? Well, do you me a fay? Uh. <laughs> That's just fine. For the time being. Victory is yours. For the time being? Well, I have a very long memory, you know. You and I will meet again. I'm certain of it. Uh. Well then, Mr. Judge, I'll see you later too, okay? Huh? Ah, uh, why, uh, uh, yeah, yes. I'm going to go spend a little quality time with the men in blue now. I wish you all the best. Who? It's finally all over. Objection! I... I refuse to accept this! The defense has shown a scrap of evidence to support an outrageous claim! But even so, your witness seems to have accepted it. I don't care! I'm whipped in pain! And I don't believe one word that this rookie lawyer has said! Well then, Mr. Payne, let me ask you this. Yes? Would you care to try this cold medicine? What?! Just a little earlier, I could have sworn you said... There. It's all right, rookie. For example, I would trust the witness Miss Hawthorne with my very life. So, if she's so trustworthy, then I'm sure there couldn't possibly be any poison in here, right? Uh, well, um, you see. Objection! And here comes the backpedal. Come on now, rookie killer. Show this rookie how it's done. How much trust do you really have for this woman? Are you willing to bet your life? Mr. Payne, uh, about Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Yes, Your Honor, I, I'll file the papers for immediate arrest. Hmm, tragic, but not surprising. I knew there was something suspicious about her from the very beginning. Don't lie, just admit you were wrong. By the way, Miss Fay. Yes, Your Honor. You said earlier that you and Miss Dahlia Hawthorne knew each other. Uh. Your Honor, how we knew each other had nothing to do with this case. Oh, very well. Ah, uh, Mr. Payne. This can't be happening! It's a nightmare! It's like losing to my daughter! It appears Mr. Payne has lost his spirit along with his hair. Does the defendant have anything further to say? It can't be true. 
My dear Dolly! <laughs> ah, very well then. I believe I'm ready to pass judgment and bring this trial to an end. The court finds the defendant, Phoenix Wright, not guilty. This court is adjourned. April 11th, 316, District Court, Defending Lobby Number 3. Mia! You were wonderful in there! Thank you for everything, Mr. Grossberg. During the verdict, I thought my hemorrhoids were going to explode like Mount Vesuvius! Um, Mr. Grossberg, do you, um, maybe think you could stop talking about them? <laughs> well, that's rather rude. Anyway, this case really made me think. What does it really mean to have a relationship of mutual trust with the client? Perhaps it is we veteran lawyers who have lost sight of this. Oh, Mr. Wright, congratulations! Th thanks. Um, you know, I was thinking. Go on. The dolly that I saw up there on the witness stand. I don't think that was really her. Um, what? Yeah, the dolly I knew could never have said those kinds of terrible things. Maybe, maybe she was like, I don't know, a fake or something. Boy, this poor kid still hasn't got a clue. You need to forget about her, Mr. Wright, for your own sake. Yeah, you're right. That's probably for the best. Also, you need to relax a bit more. Try to grow up a little. Blah, 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 blah. Out of all my friends, everyone says I'm the most grown up! Eh! What kind of company must this guy keep? Right now, I, I'm studying to become a lawyer myself. That's what you keep saying. But I thought you were in the art department. Well, yeah, I guess I am. But there's a friend that I desperately want to help. And if I hurry, then I should still be able to save him in time. I see. Say, Miss Faye, a lawyer is someone who can help people when they're in trouble, right? Mr. Wright, I'm still new at this myself. But I think that's exactly what a lawyer is. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'll study my butt off. I'll become a lawyer for sure. I hope. I hope we see each other again someday. Maybe even in court. It's been five years since I was acquitted of all charges. I became a lawyer like I planned and managed to save my friend. But Mia has passed on to a better place. For me, this trial brings up a lot of painful memories. But it also brings up some very precious ones. And memories that I thought would never rise to the surface again. Mia is gone now, but even so, I can hear her in my mind. Phoenix, no matter what, always believe in your client. In a court of law, your greatest weapon is your belief. Five long years. Something has happened that's made me think back to her words of wisdom. But that is a story for another day. Oh, wow. That's case one, folks. Yes, of course we're gonna save. I hope you all enjoyed case one. I thought it was amazing. Uh, I've got a really good cast of people, like I said. And no, we're not going to episode five. Our next episode, The Stolen Turnabout. Don't forget to voice for the, vote for the best voice actor of the case. Uh, all the eligible ones are in the description, and that should be everybody but the people I voiced, of course, because I'm not gonna pick myself. That's just selfish. Anyways, vote for the best voice actor, and without further ado, here's the preview for Episode 2. Detective, we made it! Whew, what a relief. Glad the jewel is still safe. Ho-ho! You said it, pal! Must have been our rock-solid security that scared him off. 
Would you mind opening the safe just to double check? We've been had! Uh, out front! Guards! Turn on the searchlights! <laughs> Better luck next time, gentlemen. <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm afraid I must be leaving. We shall meet again. Next moon is full. <laughs> ah <-ha! 